So we still got some live streaming going. Yeah, on? we still got. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. No. Tell them we got over five thousand viewers, and we're looking for hope. Okay. We got five thousand viewers. I've been at this point for a couple years now in this state, and uh, you know, when you take a hit, you just put some quick clot back on. Uh, hey. Stop. Stop the bleeding, and keep on fighting. Thank you. So Good this man. gentleman. So. I wanted to share my thoughts on what I saw and felt at the Wyndham High School the other night for the Board of Selectmen meeting. Now, I got to say, I've been to most of these meetings in person with the exception, I don't know, like one or two. Because, you know, I had my own election going on a couple of times and meetings I had to attend to in here in Raymond. But I have an interesting perspective because... I was there at meetings when there was like 10 of us, 20 of us, and 30 of us, and 40 of us, and 100 of us. And on Monday night, I showed up to Wyndham late. And I actually went over to the town hall and I saw no one and empty cones. And I called my friend. And I was like, where are you? And she was like, we're at the high school now. And I was like, all right. And I drove up to a full high school parking lot and I parked way in the corner and I, I was going to bring my cameras in and I was like, you know what? I don't want to deal with it tonight. I just want to pay attention. And uh, But I did grab my sign and uh, I went in. And man, it was pretty awesome to see the place Packed, you know, because this whole time I've been protesting and fighting for freedom in this state for the last couple years, you know, there's been days where I was standing by myself in the cold, holding the sign. And I didn't care. Like, I didn't care. And um, to see... Um, to see where it's gotten to and the people that were able to succeed at it, you know, really, it, it's the hand of God. Because, you know, I've met hundreds and hundreds of patriots over the last few years, and honestly, most of them are failures. Um, most of them are failures because they've been the same people failing for years and years and years and years. And um, it really takes... It takes the divine hand of God lifts up who he wants to lift up at certain moments and I'm grateful that um, that I was there to watch that but today I wanted to thank Nick and his team for live streaming um, the process um, I don't really know you guys um, I've never met you maybe one of you or two of you I met in passing a couple of the people that were live streaming but Nick I, I never met you and uh, when I walked out you guys stopped me and asked me how I felt, and I basically said, you know, we just got to put some quick clot on it and uh, get back in the fight. And um, I wanted to thank you for live streaming that event and using your resources and your people and your connections and your network to cover something that I've been fighting for for a, for a minute. Um, so I just wanted to thank you. And that's pretty much what I wanted to say. I'm going to tag Nick's, uh, Nick's channel in the description. His people did a fantastic job. They're, they're in the fight. They're fighting for us. And I want you to check out his page and subscribe to his page. Anybody that finds it. And, um, you know, honestly, man, these people have been lying about this the whole time and covering it up. And it's pretty amazing. But, you know... There's fights like that going on all over the state of New Hampshire. And you just got to stay in the fight. You just cannot give up the fight. Um, you know, my cousin once said that there comes a point in the battle where both sides are defeated. And the one that keeps fighting is victorious. And, uh, you know, that's my cousin. That's my bloodline. And, uh, Tim Cahill is in the freaking fight. <laughs>